With the Scottish independence referendum coming up, I thought I'd uh, make myself an LED sign um, that says yes, because that's how I'm voting. So if you've seen the uh, previous video I, I showed of a really dreadful Chinese made sign, I use the same technique. So this is a, uh, this is a A4 picture frame and it came with this backing hardboard in it, um, which I laterally painted black. So I got the logo that I wanted, which is the Yes logo, and I stuck it onto the, the um, wood and I outlined it with dots. Uh, initially I put a dot at each key point for um, where there's a, a change in direction and then filled it in with what I thought was going to be the minimum number possible but um, it actually turns out that even with the minimum number possible it actually uses quite a lot of LEDs. So once I'd actually marked them I then transferred them through using a sharp pointy thing which in my case I used a probe to actually push through onto the uh, wood and leave a mark and then I used a three millimeter drill to drill the series of holes and the way they're mounted um, is the LED is actually pushed through the hole and then the leads folded back to the sides so these are the standard 4.8 millimeter straw hat um, blue LEDs the back it takes a wee bit of wiring. Uh, they're all wired in circuits of, well most of them are wired in circuits of three LEDs in series for operating at 12 volts with a 12 volt lead and uh, the sort of little bus bars across the back. So the actual connections on each um, section of three are uh, basically a, a joint, a resistor and then the, the positive um, and negative. And that's just repeated over this whole thing except for the one LED on its own down here that was the odd number that wouldn't fit into the multiples of three it's in its own so it just goes straight from the positive through the LED one resistor an 820 ohm resistor to the negative the common negative here and I've scribbled roughly this is the sort of thing arrangement it's very simple it's just a the common 12 volt rail and the, the ground rail and the resistor can go anywhere in the circuit of LEDs um, it doesn't really matter just so long as it's in line to limit the current and in my case I used 270 ohms because I didn't want the LEDs too bright because um, I don't like pushing LEDs really hard so I reckon uh, that uh, was going to give about 11 milliamps which is fine that's exactly what it turned out as um, and likewise 820 ohm to get a similar current through the single LED on its own so here's a completed sign I shall plug it in let you see it, try not to put my hand over the microphone here and this is just actually way too bright for the camera, the camera is not going to enjoy this at all but there you go, it's a very very bright sign that just completely swamped the camera out um, you can actually see more detail in it uh, um, when um, it's viewed with normal eyes and from a distance but um, it basically it covers that logo um, I was originally going to put the logo on, the, the backing board but I decided not to um, I thought the black was going to provide a better contrast and now some of my friends are voting no in this referendum so I thought it's only fair that they should also uh, get a sign so I've made a, a much simpler sign for people who are voting no and here it is um, it's, uh, it's in their favourite colour, it's the red LED and it says no and it's a battery stuck on with a sticky plaster so that's a lot easier for the no voters to make as opposed to this really high-tech yes sign so that's uh, just in the, in the element of fairness there